arson, murder, it's going on all over this territory. Immigrants crossing our borders are being attacked and slaughtered. My stages are being held up almost every run. No man's life or property is safe, and not a hand is being raised to put a stop to it. It can't be stopped. Not as long as we have no organized law enforcement in this territory. That's why my paper's been hammering on the benefits statehood would bring us. Well, that's your answer. I'm marshal here, but my authority ends at the edge of town. There's no one to fight the outlaws outside the township, unless he's got nerve enough to do it on his own hook, like the Black Whip. Well, maybe the Black Whip works outside the law, but he sure works for it. Why, he's saved plenty of settlers and ranchers from outlaw attacks. That's true, but we can't depend on one masked man to fight this reign of terror. We've got to find other ways. I have found another way. That's why I call this meeting. The outlaws went too far when they stole federal funds from my bank. I telegraphed Washington, and there's a federal commissioner on his way here to take charge of things until we hold the statehood election. What's wrong, Hammond? Oh, everything. Federal commissioner's coming in this afternoon to investigate that bank job. we we'll take charge of this district until the election. What are we going to do? What we're not going to do is lose the big stakes that we've been playing for. It's up to you to see that that commissioner never reaches Crescent City. Why, he's a government man. No matter who he is, he can't come in here and smash what I've built up. We organized to take what we wanted from stages, wagon trains, and settlers. We're running this territory to suit ourselves, and we can keep it that way. We keep statehood out. All right. I reckon we can take care of the commissioner. Come on, Harris. Now, wait a minute. There's just one complication. The Meredith girl is driving the commissioner in from the railroad, and she'll be a witness to what happens. That's right. I guess we'll have to... No, no. Capture her. We'll hold her prisoner and force her brother to close down his newspaper. That'll stop his crusading for statehood. <laughs> you got all the aces up your sleeve. Take enough men with you and be sure of the job. All right. I reckon we can take care of just one man and a girl. a lot about this black whip. Who is he? He's kept his identity a secret so far. I wonder why he doesn't come into the open and declare himself. Probably because he's just one man against so many outlaws. If they knew who he was, his life wouldn't be worth a cent. That's right. to find somebody in trouble when I picked up this nut down the road away. Well, we're certainly glad to see you, sir. And this. Oh, uh, do you belong in these parts? No. I'm a surveying engineer for the Transcontinental Railroad. My name is Vic Gordon. Glad to know you, Mr. Gordon. My name is James Bradley, Special Commissioner for the Government. And this is Miss Barbara Meredith of Crescent City. How do you do? I'll get the wheel. You saved us a lot of trouble, Mr. Gordon, and we're grateful. I'm glad I happened along. I guess we'd better get that wheel on.
hurt. I'll get him into your rig. No, wait. I've got to tell you. Don't try to talk. We'll get you to a doctor right away, Mr. Bradley. It's too late. Listen to me. Vic Garden is one of my undercover agents. Vic, you'll have to carry on alone. Not alone. My brother will help. But there must be something I can do. There is, Barbara. I appoint you Vic's deputy. I can't give either of you written authority, but he will be your witness and you his. Stamp out these evils. Bring Idaho into the Union. murdered, found dead at ranch. An unknown murderer last night ended the brilliant career of Randolph Meredith, owner and publisher of this newspaper. Although there was no clue to the actual killing, the crime was undoubtedly instigated by the lawless element that has resented Meredith's crusade for statehood. His sister, Miss Barbara Meredith, will take charge of the paper and continue the fight. Any of your men do the job? None that I know of. Meredith made plenty of enemies with that paper. Yes, and one of them did us the favor of removing it. Yeah, but if that girl runs it, the newspaper will still be in our hair plenty. No, oh, she's asking for trouble. I try to talk her out of it and tell her how dangerous it was. But she's full of big, noble ideas. She's even going to improve the plant. New presses and equipment coming in this afternoon. That's mighty interesting. How are they coming in? By wagon train from the railroad terminal. You want me to take care of them? Yes. We must do a thorough job of this. Before you go, I want you to wreck that Herald office down to the last stick of type. That'll be a pleasure. Where's Miss Meredith? Out at the ranch. Yep, yep. What can I do for you? Just get your hands up, quick. What is this? I've got nervous in the Shut your now. trap and get over. Now, get a rope. Now, now, wait a minute. I've got to take a pill. charge here? Yeah. What do you want? I'm Vic Gordon, surveyor for the Transcontinental Railroad. I want to run an ad for some laborers. You'll have to come back when Miss Meredith's here. She handles the ad stuff. All right. Tell her I was here, will you?
Hello? Oh, yes, Ten Point. The, the bandits break the office, Miss Barbara. You have to have two big thugs. They're going to grab our new presses. I put up an awful battle. And then Vic Gordon drove the... the... Calm down, Ten Point. Never mind the rest of the story. What about the new press? They've got men waiting on the road at Triangle Rocks to grab the freight wagon. I'll try to stop them. Somebody's after him. We'll pop that pigeon before he knows we're here. Don't shoot him, Robin. Cold. What do you want him alive for? He's cut in on our play twice now, and I want to find out what his game is. He's been acting mighty curious. Here comes the wagon with the press. Take Gordon to the shack. You bring along the horses. Yeah! 